Are you looking to spice up your digital classrooms this year by creating interactive quizzes? In this episode of EdTech in the Classroom, I'm going to show you how to combine Microsoft Stream and Microsoft Forms to create a dynamic hybrid learning lesson for you and your students. Hey there, welcome back to EdTech in the Classroom. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and in today's lesson, we're gonna show you how you can take video in Microsoft Stream and combine it with the power of Microsoft Forms to create an interactive learning lesson using digital video and a little bit of Microsoft Magic. We're gonna go back into our project. Of course, if you have any questions about how we got here, you can check out the previous video. I'm gonna leave you guys the link up on the top or also on the bottom to part one of this series. And you can see I'm in, in Microsoft Stream. I've got my video, my name, my description, and over here on the right side, I'm gonna click on interactivity. You see, what I wanna do is I wanna add a form, so that way, as somebody is playing the video, it'll stop at a certain point, perhaps here, and it'll automatically show a form. Now, these Microsoft forms, of course, can be basic surveys or they can be complete self-graded quizzes. Let's take a look at how we do that. I'm gonna click over here and add form, and it's gonna ask me for my URL, which right now I don't have. So I'm gonna click over here on this button and it's gonna open up Microsoft Forms. All right, so here we are at Microsoft Forms. I've got a variety of different forms I've created. I'm gonna click on this form here. And I've got a one question form that says, here's my exciting demo form. Do you like this form? Now, if you're looking to learn how to create Microsoft Forms, we've got a great video for that also. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all the videos on TeacherCast Educational Network. I'm gonna click over here and hit the share button. And right here is our video form link. I'm gonna hit copy and I'm gonna come back into to, uh, Microsoft Stream and I'm gonna paste that video right here. I'm gonna name my form. I'm going to name it question one because you can actually add many different forms. Now, every single question has to be a different form, but you can make those forms self-grading. So it's a really good idea to create some dynamic forms as you're making your videos. So I'm going to click here, add to timeline. You can see it's at the two second mark. And so now you notice here is my dot. So as my people are going to be listening to this, I'm going to hit the play button. It's going to go through. And then boom, there is gonna be my exciting demo form. Do I like this video? Of course I like this video. I'm gonna hit submit and I'm gonna continue down to the video where they can finish watching it off. As you can see, it's pretty easy to add an interactive form to a demo. If you have any questions about this, please leave us a comment below. Check us out on Twitter at TeacherCast. I would love to have you guys make TeacherCast part of your professional development. And that wraps up this episode of EdTech in the Classroom. On behalf of everybody here on TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students. Hey guys, Jeff here. If you like this video, once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, smash anything that you want on the screen, and please leave a comment below. We would love to have you guys check everything out today right here on the TeacherCast Educational Network.